Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way. And the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. So flip flop it how you need to. Uh, also keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Pisces. Also, uh, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Taurus Virgo Capricorn just popped out. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Alright, Pisces. Immediate future. Let's get it. And Aries Leo Sage. Alright. Pisces, immediate future, please. Thank you. Alright, so for some of you guys, especially if you're single, you're like, you could be struggling to find somebody that you click with. Um, there's Gemini energy here as well as Leo. We have this page of swords. So, so you could be up in the air about something or about someone. Um, trying to figure something out. Uh, somebody is trying, the page of swords is like a curious energy. So somebody is trying to figure out here how to manifest their happiness. Something that you see as, you know, the happiest card in the deck here could be a Taurus or somebody trying to, you know, uh, make something long term here. It could be trying to get pregnant. Uh, it's a confused energy around this, though. Somebody is like, it's just a curious. Um, tell me about this manifestation. Numbers were breaking down to a five. So something is trying to change here. Some type of change, some type of movement. It could be some conflict in there with that. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody is very attractive to you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, somebody could be, you know, having to sneak away to see you. Or you could have multiple uh, people trying to get at you as well. But this is somebody who's trying to figure out. Uh, how to move forward with you. Show me the strength card for Pisces, please. Yeah, they're trying to, it could be a Leo trying to communicate with you or Aries. The Emperor just popped out, but this is all about communication. Um, somebody's going to communicate something, but I don't, I don't know if you're coming off the same as they're wanting you to. This is probably someone from your past here with the judgment card, someone that you've dealt with before. Um, cause at the bottom, it looks like you've been focusing on yourself healing for something. There could have been some drama, some competition, some jealousy, something like that. So this is somebody kind of trying to come back. It could be communication about a reconciliation, as well, but this is somebody just trying to figure out how to get to you, how to get you to talk to them or to notice them or something like that. Because somebody definitely wants to communicate with you. Um, if this is a past person, they're coming back here trying to work on things, but it's kind of, you're kind of up in the air about this person. I don't know if you feel like you can't trust them. Um, but there's definitely, like, they're coming at you. We have two decision cards. So there could be a decision about a connection here and how to proceed with that. You may have more than one offer. You know, you may be trying to make a decision or this person, Knight of Wands. So it could be an in and out energy. Um, someone trying to, you know, just move forward with something, especially with that Eight of Wands. Yeah, there could be competition around this. Um... Somebody could definitely have been holding back on a connection or something like that uh, or about one. Because this could definitely be like an in and out energy. The Knight of Wands is kind of like the player of the deck. So there's definitely a fast energy here trying to make a decision about a connection here. And it could be you. It's happening pretty fast. Um, definitely probably communication from this past person. Show me this lovers. Let's see how this is working out. Because even with the lovers, that's third. Um, 
sorry, that's Gemini energy. But it's like there's a third energy in between. In between these two. You see the little serpent sliding up the tree. Adam and Eve. Alright. Lovers, please. Yeah, a lot of stress and worry around this. There's a new opportunity, though. That this person is probably wanting a reconciliation, but they're definitely wanting to move forward. This is somebody, you know, there's been a lot of arguments around this person. Kind of somebody just going back and forth, bouncing in and out. So there's an opportunity, or at least somebody is wanting one. Uh, they're probably communicating with you. There's a lot of stress. Um, I don't know if this opportunity is stressing you out. Um, or this could be them, but somebody is really, like, losing sleep thinking about this. the two of cups so there is mutual love there with the ace of wands here's something new for you it could be an aquarius but the star card talks about you know rebuilding this relationship after some conflicted times um which is what this person is trying to do possibly wanting a reconciliation here um trying to come together so there is a new opportunity here that's being offered to you you may stress it because you don't know if you know if, you know if you can trust this person but um you have two aces here for the outcome The Knight of Wands is kind of like um, the energy of uh, that get quick and in and out, bored easily, you know, never really sticks sticks around long. Um, but this is, so, you know, if this is a player, then it's probably, you know, the same type of thing. But there's an opportunity here for you to rebuild this, to work on this. Give me one more card for Pisces. There's that King of Cups. Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with, um, a, uh, another water sign. Or this could be you. Somebody's not one to let go. They don't want to share. So this is probably jealousy for this person, especially from this person, especially if, you know, you've kind of been moving ahead here. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. You've been focusing on yourself. You've been good on your own. You know on your self-worth. Um, so, it's, it's, I think there's some jealousy around this as well. This person could be jealous of you. For some of you, could be seen in like a, with a star card, like a, in the spotlight or something here. But they really want something new with you. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're confused. You don't really know what to do with this. Um, I'm not seeing, a, yeah, Distance and Seven of Pentacles. I'm not seeing a whole lot of um, action there. I mean, the opportunity is there. Six of Cups, this King of Wands. Um, this somebody you could have known from childhood. You have a magnetic attraction, but it's like one of those relationships that's fun, but there's always jealousy. Like, it never just settles down to a normal, um, like, a normal standard. Yeah, you're indecisive about this. You're healing. Sagittarius energy at the bottom. Uh, I, I think this confuses you more than anything. Because I, I don't think for a lot of you that you trust this person. So, I don't, I can't say that you're, I don't know if you're going for it or not. You could be. You're just confused as hell about it. Skeptical of this person. For whatever reason. Alright, Pisces. So oh, there's your energy. Let's see what's up with this Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's coming forward to offer something. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Trying to start a new cycle here. Trying to transform things. Scorpio energy there. So there it is. Being offered to you. There for you. <laughs> Alright, Pisces. Hope this helps. Hope this resonates. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care. Oh, sneaky energy. So this could have been somebody, you know, who who kind of you have a reason not to trust. Or for some of you you're just pessimistic.
to work with this person. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. All right, Pisces. Talk to you later. Bye.